In the period of time between June 2020 and November 2020 marked the most productive period of my life since college. This is the reason why. I wrote in a journal almost every day for six months. Over this time, I've gone through three journals. The first one was a legal pad. The second one I bought for 99 cents. And the third one I splurged a little bit and spent about $6 at one of these arts and crafts stores. One of the things that journaling has been a solution for that was a fault of mine in the first half of 2020 was I was constantly in my own thoughts about the future. And I called it dreaming of spring, right? I was constantly thinking about how amazing the future was and I wasn't present. In the first half of 2020, I was in a pretty decent relationship that I guess, you know, you could get pretty fed up with real quick if you're constantly thinking about the future and not enjoying a present moment. And living in a pandemic that didn't allow you to enjoy the present moment didn't help. While it was previously great being able to travel, to work, living separate, individual lives, we spent a lot of time in each other's presence during the pandemic. The pandemic halted any individualism and eventually we had nothing left to offer each other. And so that relationship had ended and I immediately took a lot of action in my life in a strange way. I would wake up naturally by the sun at 7 a.m. I would make coffee and that was coupled with writing. My writing triggered my meditation. I did 10 minutes of meditation every morning. That triggered me working out, which triggered me to shower. And by 10 a.m., I was showered and ready to go with the rest of my day. I was artistic, athletic, adventurous. But in April 2021, I no longer feel the need to do any of these things. My mind is in chaos. Why? And then I noticed something that there was something else coupled with my motivation to improve myself. And what that was, was trauma. You know, uh, I guess breakups are hard. And even though I handled this one perfectly fine, I don't think I was that sad for very long. It was still a traumatic life change from something that I, that I wasn't used to. So that trauma triggered that self-improvement gene that I have inside of me. That gave me the energy to pursue all of these things that I was doing. So this summer, I would literally wake up every Wednesday at five o'clock in the morning and do a 10 mile hike. Like, I can't, can you imagine doing that? Cause I can't, I did it. My mind has reverted back to where it was a year ago content, like a sensory deprivation tank. A pandemic's winter will do that to you. A dream of spring in your own thoughts. The tool, tools, needed to eradicate that. The journal acted as a tool where it took and imprisoned all of those dreams of spring that I had and it left it at the doorstep so that every morning I wrote those thoughts into here and it didn't affect me the rest of my day. So I could go on and meditate, focus on the present and then do my tasks and enjoy my present life.